which is made of ice into a spaceship of sorts the amount of detail you see in the image like i wouldn't believe this was generated by ai this was generated by runway now the initial image seems okay right but where it gets weird is the moment which is what you see open ai or sora is doing really really well this is the video now this is the generation that was done on pika and again like i said it comes nowhere close to what you see here in sora i think this is the chat gpt moment of text to video which is again brought to us by open ai this is that what the video that i told you about a few months back that ai video generation will experience and it's here. like look at these generations these are real life now if you go through youtube like almost everyone is covering this model so i decided to be a smart ass and i decided to compare the generations here versus the generations for the same prompt that they've used here on runway and pika to see what kind of differences there is with respect to what open ai is going to launch in the future versus what we already have in the market apparently it's like the most text to video model and pika was one of the close competitors that was launched a few months back but i'm just going to quickly walk you through some of these videos here i mean this one's my favorite then you look through this coral reef video i mean look at how small the prompt is and how beautiful the generations are this one looks fantastic too honestly to me this seems like a real video then an actual ai generated video right look at this one it's insanely well done look at the hands they are perfect i i don't know how this is possible look at these videos these are insane videos especially this one i mean this is i think the new year lunar celebration if i were to share this with someone there is no way they would think that this was generated by ai this seems very very real plus these are like 60 second videos these are not even 4 5 seconds what runway allows you to offer in the generate in the free plan if you look at the first video here this is like almost a 60 second video i honestly don't know how this is possible but let's let's do this right let's take this prompt and plug it in runway and pika and see what we get so i i kind of took this prompt from here and i went to runway and this is the image that was generated now obviously runway allows you to generate like 4 seconds worth video in the free plan so it's not like this is 1 minute video but it kind of gives us idea with respect to the quality that we have right now in text to video versus what is coming to us so if we play this this does not even come close to how this one looks now if we do the same generation on pika look at this and look at this there is no way current models for text to video have got there and regardless of how hard they try right now these are all derivations of stable diffusion effectively what they are doing is that they taking the video i mean they taking the image and based on the image they are kind of adding some sort of animation to the diffusion video by creating multiple frames and moving the object around but this seems very very different i personally don't know what the architecture is so i'm going to read more about this later i've been in ai for like almost since it launched I've been looking at new tools open source tools but this is by far the most advanced AI based thing that I am looking at now I tried the same generation this one on runway and this is how it looks this one in my opinion comes close to how the generation on open ai is but honestly like look at the motion here versus you look at the motion here like if you if I play this you can clearly see the mammoths are coming towards me versus and look at the moment on the feet i mean it's perfectly aligned versus what you see on runway and and we'll also see pika generation now this was generated by pika you can see it's kind of messed up the mammoth is walking backwards so this for me is very hard to believe right then i tried this generation which is apparently a movie trailer if you look at this there is this guy who's walking through some weird planet it seems which is made of ice into a spaceship of sorts the amount of detail you see in the image like i wouldn't believe this was generated by ai then you look at this generation as well but you know kind of go through runway generation for this one as well this was generated by runway now the initial image seems okay right but where it gets weird is the moment which is what you see open ai or sora is doing really really well this is the video and even if you extend it to like 
you know, one minute video, how is that going to solve the problem, right? So there's an option that I think you can extend it by four seconds more, but trust me, like I've tried runway, it's not going to go to the point where we want to. Now, this is the generation that was done on Pika. And again, like I said, it comes nowhere close to what you see here in Sora. Again, there are generations here, which I walked you through earlier. If you scroll down, they've uploaded like a bunch of videos, almost like they're trying to show off to the current text to video tools that right, their time has come. These kind of generations are very hard because you can see there is some sort of, you know, reflection on the glass itself. It's very hard to even capture in real life. You know, generating this using AI, it's, I don't really know how that works. Then you can see the AI based generation here. And it again seems like very, very way too advanced generation, right? This, I mean, it directly seems like something from say a cartoon movie, like a Kung Fu Panda or something, right? This is, this video too looks very, very good. So if you look at this video as well, it's very hard to believe that something like this was generated by AI. Now you can keep going through the videos. Almost all of these are eye candy to watch for. And especially this one, like there are so many happening. There are so many things happening in each of these frames. My personal gut says that the generation will be taking very, very long because each of these frames is not just animated. It's very highly motion based animation, right? So you can see the flow of the water as well. And then there are people walking in the direction. I don't know how AI is make, kind of making sense of what happens where. So it's kind of, it seems like they are combining the smart motion and image generation and then kind of putting all of that together to kind of generate something like this, right? I'm not going to flaunt and try and give you like weird explanation, especially this one too, right? There is a train going through and then there, when, when there is like a dark object, you can see the person clearly. How is AI doing this? Look at this. Look at the dust coming off of the tires. I think this is the chat GPT moment of text to video, which is again brought to us by OpenAI. Yeah, this one, this one does not seem natural. It looks like cotton, but it still looks beautiful overall. I think, yes, this is the part where they're showing weakness. It says the current model has weakness. It may struggle with accurately simulating physics of a complex scene and may not understand specific instances of cause and effect. For example, a person might take a bite out of cookie, but afterward the cookie might not have a bite mark. Ah, okay. I think, yes, this is the part where they're showing weakness. Physically implausible moment. So he's walking backwards. And in this scenario, spontaneously appear. So, yeah, I mean, the wolves are coming out of nowhere, right? So there are three, and then they suddenly become four, and then five, and four, five, and it kind of keeps switching. And then there's the ball morphing into the basket here. Then the Sora fails to recognize chair as a rigid object. Ah, interesting. So it's obviously not perfect, and then there are flaws, and obviously the videos you see here are kind of handpicked. The person is blowing the candles somewhere else, which is also, I think, the problem with the generation is what they're pointing out. And then I think these are some more examples. So we'll be taking several important safety steps ahead of making Sora available in open air products, red teamers, domain experts. So yeah, by the way, access wise, they are giving access to their red teamers, people who point out what is wrong with the product. They're also, I think, called beta testers. And then they're also kind of working with the movie producers and designers and so on to kind of get some feedback about the model. Obviously, they can't release something that, you know, has NSF review content and so on, because having that kind of capability will, you know, what will happen, right? So look at this dog with a GoPro, I think looks very cool. And then there are a bunch of different details here. There is the technical report here as well. So effectively how the model works is that it kind of turns visual data into patches and it has a similar model architecture, which is the transformer architecture, similar to GPT models. And it represents these videos and images as collections of smaller units of data, which is effectively what patches are and which kind of allows it to train on a wide range of visual data. It also has the ability to kind of do recaptioning, which allows the model to generate like highly descriptive captions for visual training data and effectively help the train model better. So effectively, this kind of talks about how the model training is done. You can go through the entire technical doc here. 
you can see this was the base compute then you increase the compute by 4x and this, this is when you increase the compute by 16x now this is exactly why i told you the generation is going to take very long because firstly look at the amount of computing power it's going to need like if you look at current models i think they are somewhere here these runway and pika and then with 16x compute open ai is able to generate something like this so it's just the matter of adding more compute to this and then there are different resolutions that are available here this then you know aligning object in the frame which is effectively what framing and composition is here and then you can kind of go through the technical documentation i can go through this over a separate video they've kind of shared everything that they have went through during the training process and how different parameters lead to different output over the model itself so this is really interesting while the model is not available they still have the technical documentation here with respect to the architecture the training process and so on and so forth so definitely take a look at this if you are interested in the space in the meantime let me show you some of the other videos that are generated on runway from sora so this was one of the images that i tried to generate on runway by the way i wasn't able to generate more on pika because i kind of hit the free tier and after looking at you know the Sora model I don't want to pay for other video editors to be honest so it probably seems like the end for them and it's unfortunate but one of the hopes that I have for these models is that increasing the number of compute or percentage or times the compute can effectively generate better output and maybe that's something that these models will explore now that the architecture and training process of open AI model is out so yeah I mean this is the video here and this is the video here then let's look at this one which i was really excited about you can see this is like a weird character here and then exact same prompt for the generation here and this is how it looks it's not bad but it's not as good right then i tried this one which was a gorgeously rendered paper craft of a coral reef with fishes and stuff like that and then if i look at this the prompt is clearly not followed here because none of this is paper craft and the fishes are messed up so again and this one i mean this one looks great i tried this one as well this one honestly looks very realistic while if you look at the generation done by runway here it does seem realistic but you can see that the model is uh, modifying the image a bit in real time now if you think that you have questions or do you want me to cover something over the video like i said i decided to be a smart ass and cover the comparison rather than going through the complete doc here but i hope i also give you some understanding with respect to what the model is how it works what the technical architecture looks like while also how it compares with the runway and pika model itself so thank you so much guys you can see i'm i don't have my typical background <laughs> because i'm not in the studio yet so i decided to spend some time and record it right away because it just came out and i hope this video adds value to you guys thank you so much and have a good one